Welcome back to more Pokemon Diamond, everybody. So last time we finished up Stark Mountain and look at this. So if you go back to where Buck was, you know, basically what I did in the end of the last episode, go back to the survival area, talk to Buck, and he leaves the room or the house. And then after that, simply trek your way all the way back here to where Buck found his treasure. And instead of the treasure and instead of Buck, Heatran will be here. The legendary Pokemon Heatran. So Heatran is a fire steel. Pretty interesting typing to say the least. But, um, I'm just going to try to, can I actually one-shot you with War of Time? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. As I said before, technically there's no reason to be capturing all these Pokemon, wasting, like, so much time. I didn't actually kill you, wow. I wasn't sure if I would. So that's an Iron Head. Okay, and I got to recharge. Must recharge. Lava Plume, ooh. That'll do some decent damage to me. Let's use War of Time yet again. But yeah, um, I already made the argument as to why I shouldn't do this back when I was fighting Azelf and Yuxi, you know? And that's pretty much the reason why I chose not to waste 20 minutes on each of these freaking Pokemon capturing them like what I did in the Hard Gold version, you know? Which some people didn't really like. They're like, dude, I just sped up the whole capture thing. Fair enough, you know? But I did at least want to show it off. So there we go. Wait, what? What? Why can't I... Are you kidding me? Maybe I can't do it from there, but from here I should be able to. There we go. Yeah, so that's Heat Ran. Uh, there's a couple of other things I want to do as well. So one... What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. Somebody outside like yelled really loud. Yeah, so one other thing I want to do right now... Is go back to Kenilay City. So back in Kenilay City... Um, if you actually go to, I forgot what house it is, but it should be, I'm guessing, this one? No, it's not. I know it's one of these houses here somewhere. Is it this one? Yes, okay. Talk to you. Dark. Dark is watching me. He's been playing Darkrai. Alright, so talk to the little boy, and then after you talk to the little boy, talk to the sailor... He's like, oh man, I lost my love for sailing since that happened. Go to Full Moon Island? Yes, let's go to Full Moon Island. So, Full Moon Island, our goal is to get a Lunar Wing, but as a reward, we also get to obtain another legendary Pokemon if we so want to capture it. But the thing is, it's going to be another Roamer. Basically, we'll be seeing the Pokemon there, but it's eventually just going to run away. And it's kind of like Mesprit. We got to chase it, you know? Kind of annoying. And I honestly hate, you know, catching Roamers because they're so goddamn annoying. But here's Full Moon Island, so I can't even use my bike here. There are no items here, at least I believe there's none. Let me just make sure here. No, there's not. And it's a fairly small island. But here we go. That's Cresselia. The legendary Pokemon Cresselia. Interesting, but it does leave behind a Lunar Wing. And the cool thing is that now, now that we saw Cresselia, if I go back to the marking map, you will be able to see not only Mesprit, but also Cresselia roaming around. Which is pretty cool, you know, it really is. Now you can pretty much chase two at the same time. Yep. So with the Lunar Wing, we can now go back to this house and deliver it. Or I should say maybe use it, I don't know. The little boy woke up. Oh, how nice. Yep. Come sell with me later. Sweet. Don't I get a reward? I mean, I guess my reward is Cresselia, right? Maybe. Yep. Yeah, so now if you talk to the sailor again, from this point on, you will now have the option to go to both islands if you want. I mean, there's no point in going back to Full Moon anymore. You can go to a third island, but only by an event, which obviously you can't use anymore because Nintendo Wi-Fi connection has been down ever since, you know? Like 2000... I don't even know what year. But uh, yeah, it's the island where you can get Dark Rye, but again, only from an event. So that's that. Next up is... Uh, I'm going to go to Eterna City because I want to show off something there.
Okay, so when you turn a city, if we go down to, I believe it is this house? No. What? Who? What the shit? Uh, okay. No, where's, um, where's her house? I don't even know. Okay, it's not there. That's the underground. No, that's not it. Can I be here? No. What? Wait, I think I'm in the wrong place. But also, shouldn't, like, Professor Oak be here as well? Like, I could have sworn he actually stays in this place. And that house in the corner, but he's not there. I feel like I'm missing something important. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go to Hard Home City. So in Hard Home, if we go to Hard Home City, how do you get Professor Oak to be there? Or is that only in Platinum? Maybe it is only in Platinum. I don't know. I could be wrong. Is this Babbitt's, BB's house? No, it's not. Where's BB? No. Nothing over there. What the hell? Where's BB's house, man? Maybe it doesn't have... You know what? Maybe it doesn't have a sign. It's just... It's this house. And it is. Okay, talk to you. Yep. Alright, so... Yep, look at that. Once you get the National Pokédex, you can simply talk to BB. And you will obtain an Eevee. It's a free Eevee. That is right. That is amazing, is it not? At level 5. And what nature is it? Naughty nature. Okay. That's cool. I guess. Yeah, so you know, you get to like evolve your Eevee into whatever the hell you want. Do I actually have anything cool? Let's see. Duststone. Dawnstone. Shiny stone. Nope, I don't have any of the other stones. So that sucks. Oh well. Um, pretty much all done here. I guess what I'll do next is... Okay, you know what? Go back to Return. I'm an idiot for not doing this before. But let's go back to Return. Yeah, by the way, guys. This will probably be the last episode of this game. Because there's not much left to do. Now that I finished everything. You know? I do want to head back west. To the, uh, old chateau. Oh, look, this is where you find Gardenia. Outside of her gym. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not because you're scared, huh? Well, whatever, whatever. Okay, so yeah, if you come here now... To the old chest. Oh my freaking god. Why did I do that? Scrolling. Okay, so if you come here and go to, I believe it is the top section up here. One of these doors has a TV. And it's the one to the left. Okay. So if you examine the TV... Oh yeah, no, you gotta wait at night. Shit! It's not night time! Oh, I don't know if it's worth... No, I don't want to mess up the DS time though, I don't. And I can't just record at night in the... No. Okay, basically there's a Rotom. Go there at night time. Usually around midnight is where you can go there, examine that freaking thing, and you will uncover a Rotom. You will fight a Rotom. It's a, a low level, and Rotom is not considered a legendary Pokemon, you know, I'm just saying. But yeah, that's where you get Rotom. I mean, I wish I could have showed that off, but at least I showed you where exactly the Rotom is if you do want to catch Rotom, you know? Now, time to go down here. So, once again, once you get the National Pokédex, if you go down to this route and directly to the south, of, um, Bellstone City. You will see a new path unlocked, here, which was previously inaccessible. This takes you to the Spring Path. The Spring Path sends you off to the Sendoff Spring. Now, the Sendoff Spring has a couple areas that you can, like, I guess, explore. But I don't think there's any no-no items. Let's just go to Rockline. 
Okay. As you can see, it looks pretty creepy, right? The hell's over here? I can rock climb there. Oh yeah, so this bridge is out. It's just out, you know? So let's go in here. There's nothing if you surf down there, I believe. But yeah, I can go in here into this cave. And this sends us to the Turnback Cave. You might want to defog. Just saying. Now, there are directions to follow here, I think, maybe. Pass three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. I don't know what the shit that means, but I'll just go this way. One, one. What? Some kind of clues are given here. There are encounters here, by the way, so I gotta keep repelling. Oh my god, sirens in the background. Two, two. I don't know what this means. I have no idea what I'm doing. Three, three. What the? And there's Giratina. See, I don't know how to get there. I just take random pathways and I eventually get to Giratina. But let's fight Giratina. So Giratina doesn't have a big emphasis on the story in Diamond and Pearl. It's more so in Platinum where it has that, you know? But Giratina does in fact have the uh, power to control the antimatter, whereas Dialga controls time, Palka controls space, and Giratina antimatter. So I'm just gonna roar of time you. Okay, I'm not gonna capture you. This should be enough for the kill. I mean, obviously it's times two. So Giratina's a ghost dragon, which offers some pretty interesting resistances and immunities for sure. The combination of the defensive typing is actually very good in the ghost dragon. But there we go. Giratina's down. I just wanted to show Giratina off as well, you know? So that, yeah. That's cool, right? I guess. Okay. Whatever the hell that means. I'm just gonna go like this way. I believe that's the exit. Yep. So I left it. Now, um... There really isn't that much to do left in this game. Um, one thing I can do is go back to the fight area because I believe... I'm not sure, but does Barry rematch you? I think he does, and I want to show that off. Because it's basically his highest level, toughest team. That's only if he fights me, though. There we go, yeah. I want to show this battle off. This video is going to be shorter than a normal 30-minute video because there's not much left to do in the game. But it's Staraptor, okay. What are your levels? 58, okay. It's not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, so I think for this guy, for Barry, you can fight him once a day. Um, in Platinum, you can also fight him once a day. Outside of the survival area house. But in one of the houses, it becomes a fight area for gym leaders, in which you can rematch gym leaders like all the time. Which is really cool. Up to you can get experience really fast, you know? Next up is Infernape. Okay. Level 64 Infernape. Oh my god. That's crazy. I mean, for being just a trainer, a non elite member, pretty high. Because by this point, only Cynthia with her guard charm at 66 is higher. And by the way, in Diamond and Pearl, there's no round 2 for the Elite 4. What you see in the Elite 4 is what's going to stay forever. What you just saw in the Elite 4 battle video, you know? In Platinum, there's a round 2. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's a round 2. In Black and White, there's a round 2. And pretty much anything after Heart Gold and Soul Silver is a round 2. Or Platinum, I should say, you know? And again, it's really because Diamond and Pearl introduced a lot of the aspects that the future DS games would have. Which is why in itself it doesn't have too many features compared to like Platinum, or Hard Gold and Soul Silver, or Black and White or Black Turn White 2, you know? Another Dragon Poles. I can just sweep the sky all the way with one move each. Because Dialga is so freaking OP. A Snorlax. Now this guy's gonna survive a move. I'm gonna use Roar of Time to try to one-shot you. 
Because Snorlax has high special defense but lower defense. Oh, and it still survived! It still survived! That is amazing! This tankiness of Snorlax is crazy! It's gonna rest. It didn't rest. Why didn't you rest, idiot? Seriously? And flash cannon you. Okay, you're dead. Here's a Rose Raid. Let's go ahead and Dragon Pulse. And there we go. That's the battle. That is the battle with Barry. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you can do this battle once a day. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked, right? Okay. But that is pretty much all that there is to do in this game. Uh, there's not really much else to do. I'm trying to think if there is anything else to do, but I feel like that's kind of it. I think so. The only thing that surprises me is the fact that Professor Oak is not... in that house. Because doesn't he give us something? Like, I feel for a fact that he gives us something, you know? Let me check one more time. And, or I could just quickly like look it up, you know, as well. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do... Professor Oak... Eterna City. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! I think it's only in Platinum. Yep. Wait, 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 actually wait. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. I need to go here first. Not to Sanjum Town. But to Pal Park. It's because I forgot what he actually gives you, though. That's the thing, you know? Also, it sucks that I can't freaking... Wait, I actually can't? I can't fly to Pal Park? I just remember that. What the heck? I should be able to do it. I mean, I guess not. But I could have sworn I could have done it, you know? Okay, just go ahead and surf some more. Wait, I'm not going to risk that. I forgot if... I don't even know. Let's go all the way to Pal Park. Yeah, so I never actually went inside a Pal Park because when I came over here to this route, it was previously inaccessible. Because the guys outside were blocking it, but now they're not. Okay, so I could have gone through the top. I didn't know that. I forgot. Here's Pal Park. Here's Oak, okay. Sweet. Okay, the counter app tracks the Pokemon Radar's rankings. Okay, now he's going to return a city. But, okay, yeah. So at least we got the counter app. Which I guess I'll show in a little bit. But at least I came here and I can just simply go and fly back to Eterna City. And in Eterna City, now he should be in that house in the bottom left corner. Right? I think. Hopefully I did this correctly. Even though now I'm getting the feeling that he doesn't even do anything here. Let's see. Um, oh, he does give you something, okay. He gives you an upgrade, <laughs> okay. An upgrade. Sure. There are at least 400. There's 493. Alright, that's pretty much it, people. That's it. 
I'm done with this video. I'm done with this Let's Play. I am done. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.